All right. Pull the pin out and it broke. So uh, I always have some extras with me. The cut pin. And the, uh, what's the next roll? How to tie them down. See, I got this one, the O'Reilly's. They're like 40 bucks. And let's get the uh, adjustment one, not the breaker bar. So what you do is, you always tie it down a little bit, spin it, spins, tie it more, spins, tie it more. And it goes slow, see, it's, it's, it's not as tight. Tied it some more. Still spin. You gotta move it because the you try to compress the two bearings together. That's it. Then you set your wrench horizontal and go back a quarter. That's it. That's it. That's the way to set those bearings. You don't have to do anything else. And it doesn't have any movements. This is the proper way to install it. Sometimes you will not get into the pin. So you need to move the nut back or forth. I'd rather, oh actually mine even, check this out. Huh? If you have to, to tighten a little bit, little bit more. It's not gonna, it's, it's, it's just like basically barely, barely, barely installed. But uh, I don't remove the whole hub to change the oil. So what I do is uh, I pull this nut off and the bearing and I take the cloth uh, wipes or this in between to get, to fish the oil out, the old one, because you're not gonna change the whole thing and I mean you don't have to wash the whole thing because it's a lot of mess but it's a lot less mess than uh, try to get the grease out on one of those grease hubs love these I already put at least what 300,000 miles on this trailer and never mess with the brakes because they're still good <laughs> imagine that so so we're done now, install the cover back on. Partially oil leaked out, but still we're sitting on the incline. And again, you don't want to tighten it too much. So I'm putting the foot on, on the bottom of it. So it doesn't spin and just a little bit that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you're not subscribed if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the bell so you won't miss the video next video so i hope you like it see you around bye Hi everyone, back to uh, channel. How's everybody doing? Sorry, <laughs> I set the phone over there to show you how I maintain uh, my wheels on the trailer. This is uh, 8,000 pound axles with the uh, disc hydraulic brakes. And I'm running 17 and a half inch rims. 16 ply so I got the uh, oil bath hops you see is how it's got oil it's just this uh, rubber uh, bushings they they intend to leak but I have another situation it's I don't know if you're gonna hear it it's got the wobble and it spins too too freely I basically barely touched it. Oh yeah. 
I use this uh, awesome product called uh, Dollar Store, and that's just like a dollar. And when you spray the stuff, it cleans up really good. Let them soak in, then I can. It's be better off using a power wash or something like that. But I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna be unloading tomorrow, so I'm on a reset right now. I have some time to kill. I'm safe. So I'm gonna let it sink in. To take it off, I bought this speedcap.com. That's uh, two and a quarter on the eight case. The 10Ks and 12Ks has a different one. So I'm using, I just found this on the truck. I'm gonna be using because it's gonna be dripping some oil. It's really easy to take off. You, you don't have to go crazy with the tighten it or uh, I'm sitting kind of to the side of it not on the incline so that's why it's not gonna come out much of a oil I don't like when it start dripping the other way that sucks I'm using towels because you can't use brake cleaner in the on these covers because they start dissolving. <laughs> well, it seems like it's not gonna work out this cup. I should have cut it like a maker, like a hub. So it's, it's all right. Let's clean that off, I guess. So what's the next step, huh? You know, wipe it off so it doesn't leak all crazy here. Clean it up a little bit. So when I'm ready to install it, I have some ready to be installed. Tissues. Shop. It's kind of sucks to go to the phone right now because it's set up like that. It sits in the magnet on the socket. If I touch it to pause it or anything, then it's gonna take a while because I'm gonna have my dirty hands. So, as you can see now, it's clear. With the, that awesome thing, really nice. So let's spread it back to be back put together. 